difference today we're doing. We are on a, we're on a piece of property over, uh, over here that is, uh, it's a neighboring property to, uh, to ours. Uh, it, it kind of looks like it's like a bomb went off and blew shit everywhere. Everywhere you walk is trash. Um, anything you can imagine. Tires, uh, interior lighting, exterior lighting, spark plug wires, uh, Lexan, um, truck caps. Um, anything you can imagine, it is on the ground here and it is spread far and wide. Uh, non-livable home here. Uh, we're kind of on a fact-finding mission today, and we're going to scour this property, and uh, we're going to see if, number one, was there a septic system on this property at one time that we can find? And possibly two, uh, is there a perkable area on this property that we can find today? So, uh, so yeah, look, there's even dishwashers, cars, Horrible outbuildings, uh, seats, tackle boxes, coolers, vacuum cleaners, everything you can find at Walmart and more laying on the ground in this place. It's horrible. But anyway, here we are. We're going to get with it today. Right over here is where we're going to start. Let's get to work. Hey, I think I found the world's tiniest grist mill. <laughs> That's awesome. The pipe up to so we if we just scrape this area and that thing is only six inches under the yeah, dirt right about like that very careful i'm worried about the pipe just the lid if we find something i'm worried about what's in the pipe uh, that's true <laughs> Hold on. Found somebody's socket set. No shit. <laughs> well, I got two of them. Yeah, yeah, this job's paying off already. I'd yes, say sir. Do some, yeah, do some right in here. I haven't found the pipe yet. Oh, let me get the shovel. Hold on. Hold on. We don't need no more broken glass up here. Not to mention it's a queer beer. Yeah, I was gonna say queer fucking beer. queer beer. beer. We don't need no more glass on the job site. No. We got plenty.
See that metal? Yeah. Zach, pull some yeah, out of okay, right there. I see what, okay, go on the other side of it and look this way. It should be a fucking boy, big void in there. I mean, yeah, there's something there. Look, go over in there and look from that you, way, Pat. You would, you would, here's what you have to do. You're going to have to, like, it's, pe whatever it is, it's peeled up. Right. You'd have to, right where the top of that dirt is on this side of the water line, you're going to have to push that down yeah. and then start scraping it backwards. Okay. Back toward you. Yep. You're going to have to push that down. Hey, come in right in right in line with me. Drag it right there. Right at the end of that pipe, and you're gonna, you're gonna, then you can dig down just a little bit. It's moving on on either side of the bucket. It's moving. Hey Zach, that water line. Don't worry about it. It's broken half. But you need it out of your way, just rip it out of there. I think at this point you can come further this way, grab that whole thing and pit and, and grab it with a thumb and try to move it toward me to pull it out from under the ground. Yeah, it's just... Yeah. What is that? Flower pot? I don't know. Looks like it. Just dig right there. Yep. That's what the top of this looks like, right where he's at right now. Hey, it, it looks that that looks like the top of a 55 gallon drum. No shit. Yep. This is the side right here. If you can grab the chainsaw bar right there. If you. <laughs> is it, not? it is a chainsaw bar. Yeah, there's a chainsaw bar in there. It's sitting right on top of the pipe. Yeah, it's right underneath that pipe. See if you can grab it and pull it out of there. It, it looks like a metal 55 gallon drum almost. It's a 
big drum. Oil drum. Yeah, it's a big drum. Damn oil drum. Yep. Or uh, you know, fuel oil drum. Yep. Yep, still not exactly sure. That thing was placed in the perfect spot, but there's no, they didn't have no holes in it, or no, I don't understand that. No out drain or nothing. But that does make sense that somebody would be using that, given the circumstances. Go ahead and take a couple more scoops out. Let's see what that ground looks like. There's something else right there. Yeah, there is. I just saw that. Yeah. There's something else right toward you. Unless it's just a big rock. I don't know. I it didn't it. look like a rock. It looked like it was... Oh yeah, it's a, a it's a it's a hunk of slate. It's yeah. it's slate. Just leave a hey, Zach. You can just leave that right in there. Hey Zach, back up. Put your blade down. Okay. I think you were getting ready to run over a big rock. It might have pitched the track off of it or something. Grab these trees and just stick them over to the side just a little bit. moved over to the waterfront side of the property here's the marina i say here's the marina <laughs> waterfront side of the property so that's gonna push a spot through here so we can go over here at the edge of the property over here and do some digging Right there, Zach. That don't look super, does it? No. That looks better. Yep. Here, let me back up here.
right, y'all, Zach is uh, clearing another path back into this property. We've been digging around most of the day. And uh, we've been hitting, we've been hitting test holes like this one right here, all around this property. Um, this property is, uh, whew, I've never seen one single piece of property that had more trash spread out over a large area. It's pretty nuts that uh, this is like this. I mean, you look back in the woods and there's just blankets, mattresses, coffee jars. There's literally plates, forks, knives, everything. I mean, look at the car parts. Car parts spread out all over the place. It's really is crazy. But uh, so we're gonna we're gonna get the uh, we're gonna get the excavator back out of here, and uh, we'll resume our day tomorrow. Back over working on our property. So uh, yeah, it's been a great day. It's uh, it's been educational fun and uh y'all have a great night i know we will